Okay, in this video we're going to look at parametric modeling and Onshape. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So I'm going to start by creating a sketch here on the front plane. We'll take a look at the front plane head on here. Um, and it's going to be a fairly simple little sketch here, but let's escape. And I'll put this here on the origin. So it's a center point rectangle on the origin, and uh, we're good there. So um, typically what we would do is we would just simply put some dimensions on here and make this uh, rectangle the right size. But when we're dealing with parametric, the, the whole idea behind this is that we want to create a part that's flexible. We don't want to put in hard values. Um, in fact, I want to be able to change the values and the model update based on the new values. Um, so instead of using hard values, so instead of saying something like, let's make this six, right? Um, I'm going to instead use variables. So uh, let me delete that um, dimension right there. And we're gonna go ahead and, and take care of that. So let's put in a new dimension and we're gonna create our first variable here. So when we click, um, this is where we would usually just type in a number, but instead of typing in a number, we're gonna use the hashtag symbol. So um, when I put in hashtag, it says new variable. So I'll click on that. And then we need to give this variable a name. So usually, you know, make it make sense. But in this case, I'll just do something like length. And then I'm gonna go ahead and leave the value at six and it'll automatically put the value of the actual value. So you, you may have to change it to whatever you want. Okay, but we'll, um, the other thing that it's got in here is it's got length, angle, number, and any. And these are just like what type of data is this variable? Is it a length? Is it an angle? Is it a number that could be like how many of these features do you want, etc. But in our case, it's just a length. So uh, we're going to hit check. And then you'll see that length is auto-populated here, but you have to hit enter. So I'm going to hit enter, and you'll see that it says six. Um, it also shows up over here so we can see what the variable is. It says length equals six. So that's good. So we're going to we're going to leave that there. OK, then in order for this to be um, flexible, we need to, um, you know, we've got length and, and length is a, a hard number, the number six. So what we're going to do is we're going to base everything else uh, instead of off of like raw numbers, we're going to base them off of equations. So in other words, they're going to be some ratio of six or they're going to be some ratio like some equation related to um, length okay so let me show you what that looks like so again we're going to dimension so i'm going to put this over here and we're going to use the hashtag we're going to create a new variable and this time let's call it height okay now right now it says height is 3.522 um, i don't want to do that so what i'm going to do is uh, in this case i'm going to type in length so if i start to type length you'll see that the, the length variable shows up so you can either hit tab or you can click on it and i'm going to say the value of height is going to be length times and then you know you can come up maybe it's length times 0.75 okay and so when i hit um, check you'll see height populates and i'm going to hit enter and you'll see that um you know height is is 4.5 and you know all right, so maybe, you know, that that's fine. Maybe maybe you didn't want it 4.5. You can always go back and you can edit these um, values by double clicking on this here. So um, if we, you know, maybe we were trying to make this a four by six or something like that, you know, we can play around with the numbers and you can do whatever we want. But anyway, I'm just gonna leave that alone. Um, I'll just leave it at 0.7 and that's good for our example. Okay, so now what we have is we have this rectangle uh, or I gotta go back into the sketch. The rectangle is six by 4.2, and um, which is represented by two variables, length and height. Um, so let's go ahead, I'm gonna do one more thing here. Um, we can use some hard numbers in here, but I will show you how um, that, that messes with things when we start moving things around. So um, I just drew a little circle, we're gonna put this in. I'm gonna make this uh, some value of, of length or height. So let's do a hashtag new variable and let's make this one diameter. Okay, and diameter is going to be height divided by 2.125. Okay, so height divided by 2.125, hit enter, and there it is. So that, that's actually pretty big. So um, we can go back in and let's go back to the diameter variable and let's make that, let's make it like, um, it's gonna be height. Let's just go divided by three, that's good enough. Okay. That's fine. So we'll fix that variable. We'll go back into our sketch and you'll see it's now 1.4. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna leave that there. Let's put that circle right there and we're gonna go ahead and finish the sketch. Okay, so at this point we have this little rectangle with the uh, which, which is gonna be a hole uh, at some point. So we'll go ahead and extrude 
and I just want to choose the face. I don't want to choose the hole, but just the face of the little rectangle here. And the depth, again, is going to be an equation. So in this case, it's going to be, we'll take our, um, you know, di or not diameter. Let's do, actually, yeah, that's fine. We'll do diameter um, divided by like 0.3. It's fine. Okay, so diameter divided by 0.3. Take a look at it. Uh, not divided by 0.3. By 3. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay, so uh, so there, there we have it. Now we've got this, uh, we've got this part drawn out. There's no real hard numbers. In other words, uh, the only real hard number is length. And so if I change length, everything else is going to change. So let's try that. So I'm going to double click on length, and and actually let me show you another way to do this. Instead of going through over here, we can always edit our variables here. But if you go here to the right, you'll see this variable table. So I'm going to click on that. And these are all the variables that we have in here. And that these are the current values that are for those variables as well. So if I go in here and I change this to 8, you'll see that the entire model changes. Right? Everything is based on length. So therefore, when length changes, everything adjusts, uh, which is great. So um, you know we can change this around. And now I can have multiple parts out of this one file, if that makes sense. They're going to be the same part, but they're all going to be scaled up and scaled down a little bit differently. So um, so there, there's 10, and you can see that it's working. But let's say that I do something like three, right? Now you can see everything went fine except for the circle. And the circle got cut off because, well, we didn't really position it um, using any kind of, um, you know, parametric equation. So um, what I'm going to do is close the table. I moved it back to six, our original number. And I'm going to go back into the sketch. Okay, so we need to position this. So in other words, I need to put a dimension here. Okay, and I'm just going to leave that on there for now, and I need to have a dimension <clears throat> here. Okay. Okay, so we're going to uh, we're going to double click on this, edit this, create a new variable. We'll call this one top distance, and then we're going to give it a, a value and just some kind of equation. So I'm just going to do like uh, length times. And then maybe we can do like one over six or something like that. Okay, so we'll go boom, top distance, there it is. So it came out to one. All right, and then uh, we'll do the same thing with this one. So we'll do new variable, and then we'll call this one maybe side distance. And then we can do something like height times one over. Uh, four I don't know something like that then hit enter and so here I've got um, basically 1.05 1 but again those are parametric equations so as this part moves now it's going to um, adjust so uh, we have everything here everything's all set up and then uh, we'll go to our table and we can adjust this now to 10 and you can see the part everything still looks in proportion and then we can go to three. You can see again the circle doesn't, or it does move. It moves with the part. It's flexible, and so um, yeah, looks good. Everything um, we're able to then have multiple versions of this part, and um, by but only modeling at one time, which is great. Um, okay, so one thing I do want to uh, show you here. So I showed you how to um, showed you how to create new variables as you're going, and how to view them here and to in the table. Um, but one thing you can do is you can actually. Uh, you can actually like create the variables right here in the table if you want to. So, um, so I'm going to create another one called sum distance. Okay, and right now that sum distance is zero. So let's make it two. Okay, um, I'm just going to put a hard number right here. We're not going to put. Now you know what? Let's just do this. Let's do. It is um, height times 0.5. And I already have one. Let's make it point height times like 0.35. It's good enough. Okay, so it comes out to uh, 0.735 inches. Okay, now I want you to see what happened. All right, so we created the, the name of the variable, what type of variable it is, and then the equation or the, the distance. So if I double click on it, you'll see it's height times 0.35. Okay, so that's all good. Now, but why don't you see what happened over here? When you look here, you see that some distance uh, appeared. It, it's appearing in the order that we're creating them. So in other words, we created sketch and then uh, we created all these variables here inside of the sketch. So it placed them on top of the sketch. Uh, then we did an extrusion and then now we have this sum distance. So uh, this order matters and, and I wanted to show you this because um, you could cause yourself some issues. So let's say I go here into the sketch. All right, and let's say that I wanna put another circle 
And in dimensioning this, I want to make this circle be some distance. Well, when I hit the hashtag, I can create a new variable, but some distance is not in here. So it means that um, if we're in the sketch, technically some distance hasn't been made yet. So therefore I can't use it unless it's up here with these. Okay, so let me show you a way that we can um, fix that. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna move it up. And now you can see that some distance is up here with the other variables. And now when I go back in the sketch and we create a new variable, uh, or we create a new circle, we can dimension that and I'll put a hashtag and there is some distance. So um, the order in which you put these things in does matter or at least understanding how the order affects the usage of the variable um, makes a big difference. Um, you know, if you're worried about it, then one thing you can do is just put them all here at the top. Uh, if they're all at the top, then that means anything below it can use the variables. So the sketch can use it, the extrusion can use it, you know, so on and so forth, um, and other features that you put in as well. So um, hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, I'll go, I'll kind of get out of our sketch here and um, just kind of show you. Since we did put a um, hard number on that one, it won't change, but we'll change the uh, model around a couple times and show you. So here you can see we, we made the model bigger and this circle is not positioned with an equation so therefore it is going to change or it's not going to move around as, as much as the others so all right hopefully that was helpful and hopefully you got a, a feel for uh, parametric modeling